Pecha Kucha 303, surviving the heat wave. So, yeah, I live in Britain, and on Monday and Tuesday, it was very, very hot. So hot, it might have been the hottest it's literally ever been since records began. Uh, That, plus me getting ill towards the end of the week, has kind of kowtowed any major plans I had for what to do this week. I did read uh, Frank Miller and Klaus Janssen's Daredevil run from the early 80s. Iconic in that... um, It pretty much is the start of what you come to expect when you read a superhero trade paperback from, say, the mid-80s till almost even now. The book's so big that I can't scan it without, you know, the middle of the pages just being blurry because I can't push the book flat onto the scanner. And I'm too sick to be bothered to find a workaround. Um, The book starts just before Frank Miller's run, where it's like a Monster of the Week issue-by-issue Daredevil story. It's not very interesting. Uh, Miller in the foreword does note that his plan for the the run was to grab every big name he could. He gets Dr. Octopus in, he gets the Hulk in, um, he gets uh, Black Widow from S.H.I.E.L.D. in, the Punisher... Uh, He really does what he can to uh, increase the character name brand value of the cast, uh, including the self... Well, actually, let's just say what it is. He, like, retroactively adds someone into the past of the main character, Matt Murdock, Daredevil, a woman called Elektra, who, um, for some reason, he decides to tell he's got superpowers, even though he won't tell his best friend uh, or most of the people who are actually in the book... uh, regularly um their relationship falls apart when matt murdoch does what he does which is interfere in other people's businesses usually beating people up and as i've noticed quite a lot in this book people die um the first time matt murdoch put on the costume to avenge his father's death he wasn't going out there to kill the man who who killed his father but the guy had a heart attack while he was running away from daredevil There's a lot of times in this book where someone directly dies as a result of Daredevil being there, but he doesn't take moral responsibility for it, which I find uh, very interesting, um, if not outrageously hard-headed on the part of the character. The Kingpin is a a major part of the success of this book. I've got to be honest, when I was reading the first five issues, I was practically falling asleep, but when Miller gets into his stride... Uh, especially with what's going on with Bullseye, uh, who is just, he's just one of those run-of-the-mill villains, but people keep writing him good because Frank Miller started writing him good. Uh, I love Bullseye. He's um he's a guy who can kill people with anything. Uh, he just kill you with a deck of cards or whatever. Um, interesting Frank Miller run. I enjoyed it. Uh, this week I've also been watching movies. I saw Kingsman. And um, it's... This is why James Bond has no future, because what you should do is the same fucking thing, but just update it. And that's what Kingsman is. Uh, It's a frivolous nonsense movie, and it's lots of fun. Uh, I also saw the second half of Gemini Man. It seems like I missed all the boring stuff. Um, Will Smith's character is cloned, and a younger version of him is sent to kill the older version of him. Uh... I've got a chip on my shoulder about watching Will Smith movies. This helped me get over it. I watched uh, Ghost of Mars. I was confused at first because Jason Statham is in this movie, but it's clearly not his movie. It's Ice Cube's movie, and that's why it's not really that good. But it's it, it was also a fun a fun thing to watch. You know, it's nice to just see some random stuff you've never seen, and then it's, sometimes it's fun to see stuff you've definitely seen before. Because um, I'm just watching whatever comes on the TV as and when. There's always a Schwarzenegger movie on. I was very happy to watch Commando again because, you know, that kind of cheesy 80s shit. While it's dated, it will never go out of style. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. I've also been watching Yu-Gi-Oh! Abridged by Little Kubero. Which isn't exactly funny, but when you're just sitting there trying to not throw up, uh, the last thing you really want to do is laugh out loud. Um, an entertaining way to be on the internet without, you know, going insane, looking at what's trending. Uh, I've also really been enjoying, for some reason, some suit guy who talks about sumo wrestling uh, is in my feed. And just just watching sumo wrestlers do it, the sumo, it's interesting. It's uh, There's a lot more going on than you'd think about two naked dudes trying to push each other over 
outside of a very dangerous ring. Uh, also, Jiminy Glick is a fake uh, television presenter, celebrity interviewer. Um, it's a dude in a fat suit. This is some of the funniest shit I've ever seen in my life. Uh, <laughs> for all the bullshit YouTube algorithms give me in my feed, it's almost all forgiven for Jiminy Glick. It's all like VHS content. That's why it all looks so terrible. But it's it's funny as balls. Uh, I've also done a couple of uh, updated line work reiterations of my bison. Now the random person bison was foot stomping turned into Dal Sim. I'd have coloured it if I hadn't got sick towards the end of the the week. I'd like to say. Um, I was almost finished with the final chapter of my manga book. Uh, this week I finished it off. It ended in a way I truly didn't expect it would. Um, because this is what happens when you have actual limitations on the size of what you're working on. I simply ran out of space to do the things that I thought I was going to do. Because the pacing of the book is determined by the size of the images and the amount of characters I can fit in the speech bubbles. Um, it's all fun and games to think I can fit in whatever I want to but the whole reason I, I did this thumbnail sketch without uh, storyboard without bothering to draw the art properly is because this is exactly what I expected would happen you could you know th it's the practicality of trying to th fit things in without realizing the pacing of the book coming under uh, threat from it so I'm still feeling pretty poorly today, but I felt a whole lot worse yesterday. Uh, hopefully, things are on the up and up. So that's the end of Petra Kucha 303, and I'll see you next time.